The 3 mistakes patients make when selecting an IVF clinic. The commonest mistake is to blindly depend on their family doctor or GP or gynecologist to refer them to a clinic because they hope and trust their doctor is a reliable source of medical information and will act as a trusted gatekeeper and send them to the IVF clinic which has the best success rate. Once upon a time, this used to be true. But because of the rampant corruption which has infected the healthcare system today, often your family doctor will send you to the clinic which gives him the highest kickback, rather than the one with the highest success rate. This helps him to make more money, but reduces your chances of having a baby. The second problem is that they don't do their homework before selecting an IVF doctor. They automatically assume that, just because their friend got pregnant in that particular IVF clinic, or because the clinic paid for a full-page ad in the newspaper, or bought a press release or an award, that they are a good clinic. The reality is that not all IVF clinics are the same. There is a world of a difference between the competence of clinics, and a huge gap between the success rates of good clinics and bad clinics. You need to do your homework before you select a clinic which is right for you, and, one, simple way of doing this is by interviewing at least two clinics, creating a shortlist, and then choosing the one which you like the best. The third and most important mistake patients make is during their actual IVF treatment. They have absolutely no clue as to how their cycle is progressing. They are passive, and expect the doctor to inform them. The problem is the main doctor is never available, and they have to depend on either the assistant, or the nurse, which means they are completely in the dark. The point is you can't select an IVF clinic based on your doctor's referral, or its brand name or reputation, you need to be actively involved in making this critical decision, by investing in information therapy. The good news is that it's easy to do this, all you need to do, before starting your cycle, is to confirm that the clinic routinely provides embryos photos to all their patients, and does only day 5 transfers, blastocyst transfers. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.